I want any of y'all who think it can't happen to you to understand that it can. And we need to push for legislation. We need legislators and lawmakers to make limits on how long they can suspend anybody's driver's license. Because there's people who have killed people driving that have gotten their license back within seven years. I'm still on SSI. I could be doing a driving job making more in one week than the, these people want to begrudge me of in a month, right? I'm still healthy enough to do a driving job. 2014, I tried again to get my driver's license back. I haven't had a driver's license in 33 years since I was 18 years old. <laughs> Over childhood driving offenses. My driver's license is caught up in a system of power abuse and terrorism. They forced me 23 years ago to violate my religious beliefs to get my license back and still refused to give it to me. Then in 2014, they did the same thing. I paid them to violate my uh, religious beliefs and uh, I even quit smoking marijuana and I had a drug test to prove it. And I was still diagnosed illegally Violating uh, federal HIPAA laws, putting my health care on the table is something, you know, it's like they put put your, your health care on the table and tell you you can't have your driver's license because they gave you pain pills. It's the same thing. I had a medical marijuana card and a religious belief that I have the right to use that card. I was not using it at the time. I have had a clean drug screen to prove it. And bubbling, bumbling idiot, hearing officer Ojabina, uh, just disregarded scientific fact. And wouldn't give me a fair hearing just because she didn't like me, didn't like the way I looked, didn't like the way I tried to speak up for myself because it's going on record. Erroneous shit's going on record about me. And I'm wanting to clarify that it's wrong. I can't be marijuana dependent during an era when I'm not even smoking marijuana. Full scientific fact states that I was not smoking marijuana. Full. So it's like I had two drug screens. One when I quit, it was almost clean. And then another one where it was completely clean a week later. So it's like, you know, there's no excuse for this. I bowed down and sucked their ass and violated my religious beliefs and, and, and writhed in pain for months to pass a clean drug screen for nothing. And here it is more than a year later, I still don't have a driver's license. I'm not going to violate my religious beliefs and go hang out with uh, drunken junkies and, and, and confess out of my mouth that um, I'm, I, you know, I think about dope all the time because I don't. That I'm addicted to marijuana because I'm not. That violates my religious uh, beliefs to make me go lie. To make me go hang out with people that I don't hang out with. I don't hang out with weak-minded people that always got to think about alcohol and dope. To tell me that I must go do that is, is, is a violation of my life, okay? That's like telling me I got to go live in the ghetto even though I work a good job. You know, that'd be like me telling you, any of you, you can't live in your house no more. You got to go live somewhere else around people you don't want to live around. You work hard to stay away from. You know, that'd be like me telling you, you got to let your drunken, uh, junky uh, relative that you don't want in your house, in your house around your kids. You know, I got to go hang out with them motherfuckers over some shit that happened when I was a kid. I'm not the same person anymore. I was a kid, man. I got busted drinking and driving three times within a seven-year period. They illegally gave it to a judge because it happened underneath uh, while I was a juvenile. They illegally gave it to a judge who illegally, a white devil, gave it to uh, the driver's license appeal division. Terry Lynn Land, you know, you thinking about voting for Hillary? Terry Lynn Land was Secretary of State how long? The, my case outlasted the driver's license appeal division. That's how many years they sat on it, okay? Now it's the driver's assessment and appeal division. Now when they changed that, Terry Lynn Land should have did her job and purged the system of all old cases. My case is 33 years old. I still don't have a driver's license. I can't drive myself nowhere legally, so why not be a criminal if I'm going to get arrested when I get pulled over anyway? If I get pulled over driving to work, I'm going to go to jail. So I might as well uh, commit crimes make more in one day than I'd make in a month so that I have the money to buy myself out. See, that's my mentality. I'm going to go back to driving soon, and I'm going to have to finance my, uh, you know, my future bonding out with illegal activity. If I can't get some law-abiding people who understand if I have been trying to abide by the law for how long now? They, you know, I haven't, you know, I don't drive, Okay. It's like, and, 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 you know, that 
is a travesty because I drive better than most of the people out there. I focus on my driving. I put a Bluetooth in my ear and talk instead of text. I don't even have texting on my phone. And to say that I have because I have a religious belief that I should be able to use marijuana instead of the sorceries of man, the pills, you know, their, their pharmaceutical poisons, to say that I can't have a driver's license because I have that belief, <laughs> that's violating my rights, man. We need this legislation bad. We need some lawmakers. Attention, Michigan lawmakers. Do your job. I haven't had a license for 33 years. Secretary of State has no sense of shame about it. They don't even blush that they're too incompetent to do their job and get somebody they should have a driver's license their license back. Okay? They're too incompetent. So you have to do the right thing by us who are getting lost in the system. Right? I'm homeless, man. I don't have to be homeless. I could be working a good job. All right? There's people who want to hire me still, more than a year later, waiting for me to get my license back. Now, where is my license so that I can uh, be equal to the drunken junkies that you got driving around out there legally? Hmm? Where is it? See, this is enraging. You know, it's enraging. You can't get justice in Michigan. Michigan government is pure terrorism. Their lawmakers are terrorists. Their judges are terrorists. The lawyer that I hired is a terrorist. He wouldn't help me. Under, you know, from three different directions under the law, a paralegal could have already got my license back. But I don't have the money to buy a paralegal now because I gave it to that stupid motherfucker, Kyle Legal. You see? So it's like, you see what the mentality of their uh, place is. They're all about dope. You know, he used to be a prosecuting attorney in an area where they closed down marijuana dispensaries and turned a blind eye to 47 dope houses, hard dope, heroin, cocaine, meth, pills, yeah, oh, and they beat on their chest like they did something great, <laughs> they actually wasted taxpayer dollars and charged them people with crimes, do you know that, that they can't be medical dispensary operators, but the dope dealers can deal dope. Now, this is the government that we have happening here in Michigan, they're all about the chemicals and alcohol. And if we dare speak up for marijuana, our right to use that instead of mar uh, alcohol or pills, oh, God, uh, we can't have a driver's license. We can't work. But they don't want to let us be on SSI either. They'll pester us to death, won't they? Make us jump through hoops. Have us illegally investigated for fraud. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening to me right now. I'm being terrorized by a crazy bitch. <laughs> Been being terrorized by this bitch ever since she got my case because she thinks she knows somebody uh, who used to be a friend but wasn't really a friend, right? And they don't know nothing about me. They're getting bubble stories. So they think that I'm living with my wife to protect my wife from the junkies and the drunks that were breaking my wife's house while she's at work or while she's asleep. So we have to play it off like I'm always at my wife's house, which is then, you know, it fucks me with this bitch because she's rolling with them on a personal level and then she takes that shit to work and investigates me. Ha <laughs> ha, ain't that some shit? Dumb bitch. Yeah, well, that shit's gonna get back and fucking somebody gonna end up firing her. But in the meantime, I need my license back so I can just get a job. Get off this shit for real. I need a real lawmaker to stop being a terrorist. I need a representative or a senator. To stop being a terrorist. I need somebody in Secretary of State. Stop being a terrorist. Give me my fucking license back.